Hi friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library where today we'll be doing a reading vlog. It is currently February 24th which means I have about four days to read and do my review for release day for fellow author tuber Lizelle Sanbury's Delicious Monsters. It comes out on Tuesday. I have yet to miss a release day vlog for Lizelle's books and I'm not gonna start now. So we're gonna have to read, we're gonna have to, you know, like we're being tortured. We're gonna have to read Delicious Monsters in the next three days. I have the weekend off. Um, it's Friday evening at like 5 30. I am going to be reading some leftovers for dinner because I have a live show at 7 and we'll be doing some sprints. We're going to be doing random time sprints and um, see how that treats us. You know anything from 15 minutes to an hour who knows what we're going to get. If you don't know what Delicious Monsters is about let's go over the synopsis. I'm going to read the actual synopsis to you from Goodreads, so I'll be looking over here. Daisy sees dead people, something impossible to forget in bustling ghost pack Toronto. She usually manages to deal with her unwanted ability, but she's completely unprepared to be dumped by her boyfriend. So when her mother inherits a secluded mansion in northern Ontario, where she spent her childhood summers, Daisy jumps at the chance to escape. But the house is nothing like Daisy expects, and she begins to realize that her experience with the supernatural might be no match for her mother's secrets nor what lurks within these walls. A decade later, Brittany is desperate to get out from under the thumb of her abusive mother, a best-selling author who claims her stay at Miracle Mansion allowed her to see the error of her ways. But Brittany knows that's nothing but a sham. She decides the new season of her popular haunted web series will uncover what happened to a young black girl in the mansion 10 years prior and finally expose her mother's lies. But as she gets more wrapped up in the investigation, she'll have to decide if she can only bring one story to light, which one matters most, Daisy's or her own. As Brittany investigates the mansion in present day, Daisy's story runs parallel in the past, both timelines propelling the girls to face the most dangerous monsters of all, those that hide in plain sight. So this has, well, A, it's a thriller, so love that. Um, it's a YA thriller, which is, you know that YA and mid-grade spooky have been my thing for like the last two years. Super stoked. It has dual timelines, which I love. I don't think I've read one where the timeline was quite so close together. This is only a decade of separation, but I'm still very excited. Um, I love a dual timeline, like trying to figure out what's going to happen in the present while also figuring out what was happening in the past. Love it. Here for it. Love it in my spookies. So I am absolutely so excited to read this book. Um, I can't, I cannot express the excitement. Um, knowing what Lizelle has been able to do in the past and knowing what this book is supposed to be based off of this synopsis, I feel like I'm going to love it. And if I don't love it, I'm going to call Lizelle and apologize. I want to do a few things and then I'll be back with you when I actually start reading the book. I've got about a half hour until the live show starts, so I'm going to go ahead and start reading. I've got my ARC on my phone and we're just going to hop in and see what happens. Okay, so I just finished chapter two. And the first two chapters, the first one was like really short and the second one um, was a little longer and it were from, they were from Daisy's point of view, which is the 10 years in the past point of view, um, the one who can see ghosts. And I don't know how you can be told, it, mm, I can't think of how I want to say this, like the way that we learn so much about the world building like the ghost and what they what they want what they do how they react to the real world around them in like two short chapters was fantastic like I can't put that much it's like putting backstory in that's not like just backstory word vomit it's like actually part of the story <sighs> Why do I even write? I can't even talk. I mm -hmm. 
anyway it's fantastic and I am mad that I don't write this well so I'm going to go back and uh, work on Brittany's first chapter. So I just finished the first chapter from Brittany's point of view which is the 10 years later point of view and I like her. I'm, I liked Daisy also but Brittany I really like. There's something about her that I just like you know. Let's turn on a light so we can see each other. Sometimes you just a character pops on screen and you're like yes this character 100% I'm here for it. I'm having a good time. I mean again I'm only on chapter four but you know first impressions matter and I am really enjoying it. I like the idea of so far both girls have what appear to be uh, negative relationships with their mothers so that's interesting to see how that's going to reflect as the story goes through and also both stories both um, narratives started out with their names. Uh, Daisy started out with like the story of of her mother telling like how her name came to be and then Brittany started out with Brittany being like you know visualize a Brittany in your head and I guarantee you it she'll look nothing like me. So like there was like that mirror image of both of the main characters here for it loving it having a good time already. Um, I probably won't come back until I'm like a quarter of the way in unless like something you know amazing happens and blows me away and I have to shout about it. But the sprint's almost over. The first sprint's almost over. And so I need to get back to that and then I'll be reading some more. <laughs> Is it now Sunday? Like Sunday evening? Yes. Yes it is. Am I just now at 25%? Yes. Also yes. Um, however, I am having the absolute best time. Uh, there was just like a super fucking creepy moment that gave me the absolute heebie-jeebies. Um, yeah, you know, just uh, story, plot, things happening, all the things. And the only thing so far that I am, I don't want to say not like, that I don't like, but that I'm wanting more of is more of the the 10 years later story. We've only seen Brittany a couple of times and I'm really like wanting a break from Daisy and a little bit more Brittany but I imagine that as the story progresses we'll be getting more Brittany and less Daisy so I think it'll probably even out somewhere but having a good time so far fully creeped having a good time so we just got to another Brittany chapter and <laughs> there is a line in here that kind of gives us an idea of what we're going to see in the future of the Daisy story. So Daisy's the past, Brittany's the future. So there's a line in the Brittany story that's like this thing happened and this is what we're going to be discussing. So like we're getting an idea of what's actually going to happen in the past and I am very excited for that stuff to start happening because that is exactly what I'm here for. Um, I have so many questions about um, our main character Daisy and her mom uh, Grace because they are very strange um, and and the place the, the house that they inherited is very strange there's a lot of weird things going on um, that like I as a 35 year old woman would be like uh no but I can see you know Daisy being 16 or 17 that she would feel different. I can, I can like empathize with that. Sympathize with that? Connect to that? Yeah. So many things happening and my brain is just like, you know, trying to figure everything out. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, shit's happening. We're starting to happen or we're starting to find out what's going to happen and I am very excited. It's now Monday at 5 p.m. I'm currently at 50% so we have some things to talk about and also I have a lot of this book left to read 
Uh, would it ever be me reading Lazelle's books without it like being a last minute countdown to get it done like right before I have to edit to have the video up? I, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> this book is creepy. Um, if you've been around for a while you know that one of my favorite like YA spooky authors is Kate Alice Marshall who did in fact blurb Delicious Monsters and this is like right up there with Kate Alice Marshall creep like the absolute <gasps> uh yeah it's 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 creepy <laughs> I'm still not getting enough uh, Britney chapters for my liking uh, but I imagine that it's because of the like if I get too many Britney chapters then I'm gonna know what's happening then it will defeat the purpose of the Daisy chapters like I get that um, but I feel like I just I want more I want more of Britney and maybe I'll get that moving forward but I want more Daisy's chapters are very interesting because it feels like everybody around her is keeping secrets from her or lying to her about specific things. I have some thoughts about what might be happening um, and I've been keeping track of them like just little notes in my brain of like I think that this is what's actually happening here and I think that maybe this thing happened. And getting the dual timeline it's really interesting to see how um, as I said before, like we're seeing things happen in the past and then you get um, a first person point of view from the future and you realize that what Daisy thought was happening in the past isn't necessarily what was actually happening. And so we're getting like these conflicting tales and so you have to figure out like is what people were telling Daisy in the past true or is what people are telling Brittany in the present day true? And so you're just like trying to figure out what makes the most sense for the story and what's going to make a better story. Um, and, and so it's it's fun to like kind of piece everything together. This is why I love dual timelines. Um, dual timelines that are in a sequential order make me very happy. So we're learning more about Daisy and um, her ability to see the dead people and what the haunted house is all about. And it's very, very creepy. Um, I have so many thoughts and like I'm not even I don't even think I'm really too like the super creepy stuff yet I think there's still time to go before we get to the extra creepy stuff so um, it's it's creepy I did want to mention so for those of you who like to read the spooky but would like a list of content warnings Lizelle does have a list of those in the book and I'm gonna read those to you for those of you who prefer not to know what the content warnings are just for like spoiler purposes and you don't need them I'll put a content warning box over here and when the box is gone you can come right on back in so the content warnings are childhood sexual assault off page some details discussed Childhood physical abuse, corporal punishment, off-page, described. Childhood physical abuse, confinement, punishment. Childhood neglect, gaslighting, grooming, suicide, off-page mention, killing of a goat, off-page, described. Discussions of fat phobia, body horror and gore, uh, violence, and death. So, if you need those, they are there. And if you don't need those... Then you don't need those and that's fine. Um, but since Lizelle was kind enough to put them in the book I figured I might as well let you know what they are. So that's where I'm at. That's I'm at 50%. I just got home from work. I'm going to get something for dinner and settle in and hopefully <laughs> finish this book before it's like bedtime. That's the dream. You know how like when you're expecting a twist in a story like you there's a thing that was happening and you're like I bet that's how this happens and then the thing happens but then it goes to a whole other level because that's where we're at right now like I honestly I don't even know where I'm at 60 percent 70 percent I don't I don't even know but like what the fuck just happened I mm -hmm. like I thought that this thing was going to happen and then the thing happened like I was reading blah 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 and I was like oh yep yeah, I okay guessed that so cool 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 and then on the next page this this and this happened and I went I'm sorry what excuse me I'm not I'm not okay I am not okay <laughs> um 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not okay. But I, I promise. Also, um, it's, I don't know, it's been just several more chapters since the last time, but something happened that I also guessed, and I just went, yes, I feel so vindicated! So I, I had to share that, because... Ah! I'm going back to reading now. So I've moved this dog and pony show to the bed because it's like 20 minutes till bedtime and I still have heaps to go. I guess what we're gonna do is just read until I fall asleep or finish the book. Also, because we're here, we might as well have an update. <sighs> there is so much creepy stuff happening. Like, so much creep. And like, things that I didn't expect and also dealing with a lot of trauma and a lot of other things that are going on and it is just it so much all the things all all of the things having a fantastic time being thoroughly creeped out say hi Merlin So I guess I'm going to cuddle with Merlin and I'll either give you an update, you know, when something awesome happens again or in the morning or if I finish tonight. I might update you if I finish tonight. Who knows? I might fall asleep. I also don't know that either. Can I help you? Are you going to be okay? You going on an adventure? You're gonna rub your face on the camera? Okay. Say hi. No, she's not gonna say hi. You guys. It was so good. <laughs> I'm actually crying right now. You can't see because, you know, lighting, but I'm not like surprised that it's good because it's Lizelle and I expect it to be good, but I didn't expect that emotional response at the end. I didn't expect <laughs> how does she do this to me every time she makes me cry every time it's a fucking like haunted house ghost story and she still made me cry oh my god I It ended up being so different from what I thought it was going to be in the beginning. Like, it definitely was what I thought it was. Like, there were definitely things that happened that I guessed, you know, kind of early on. But it was so different than what I was expecting. So different. And just... I love the directions that she took. It's a little longer than I was had expected it to be. Um though I should have guessed with the lengths of the Blood Like series, but it really needed all of that space to to be the story that it is. It really needed the room to grow and to be... <sighs> I... Wow. I did not expect to cry. I did not expect to cry. It's like, it really is about like, yes, it's a haunted house story and it involves ghosts and, and monsters, but it's about monsters being not necessarily those things all the time. Like monsters can be other things and what the true monster of the story is and... 
I was not expecting the ending to be what it was. I was expecting something different and then it just flipped on its head. I did expect for Britney's part to get bigger um, as the story progressed and it did at the end um, but not really into like the last quarter. So it was Britney's part was still small throughout the first three quarters of the book but it did get larger at the end um, because you're really getting like the the what had happened and everything and then just the way that it was all blended together in that last quarter was just so well done that you know as the reveals were dropping it was it was it timed impeccably to just make you feel the feels and all the things and I just how can something be so creepy and so spooky and give me the absolute hibbity jeebities and also make me cry what how do you do this to me every time Lizelle like it is first off rude second off thank you uh <laughs> I have, I have I have no words uh, I'm gonna continue to think about it and um, it's I don't even know what time it is it's 11 o'clock so I'm gonna keep thinking about it and um, work up like a rating and I will talk to you guys about that tomorrow and wrap this up I <laughs> Uh, yeah. How do you know that you're in a last minute release day crunch? The book shows up on your doorstep. Uh, welcome to release day, or if you will, the opening of the mansion. So I did indeed finish this last night. As you've seen, it did make me cry. I have all the veals. I ended up at a 4.75 out of 5. So fantastic had the best time reading this I do want to read it again um, I want to listen to the audio I always find creepy books more creepy in audio than like reading them with my eyeballs um, so I'm not saying like immediately am I gonna pick it back up with an audio but I definitely want to um, pick up the audiobook um, sometime in the next six months or so um, and listen to it again on audio and just totally immerse myself in the creep if you will i'm pretty sure i said everything i could have possibly said about this book last night while i was in uh an end of book high delirium but if i haven't convinced you to read it yet i don't think at this point that i can like it was so spooky so creepy so heartfelt had all of the great things if you want like a more <laughs> thorough uh review of this book some from somebody who has brains because I don't have brains when I review my reviews are really just based on vibes alone um, but if you want someone who actually put thought and care into their review I will link Bethany's review down below from Beautifully Bookish Bethany um she finished it I think at the end of January and her reviews are always way better than mine so I'll link her review down below if you want one that like actually talks about substance versus it was creepy and I liked it so that's it that's it gonna be it for me today if you made it this far in the video leave me a bird emoji down below and then when you read the book you'll know why that is all I have for today I post reading writing book and planner related content a couple times a week if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below and until then I will see you guys next time bye